What's going on guys? It's your boy Terry by Reacts here and I'm back with another reaction and this is uh Peaky Blinders season four episode five. Okay. So this one has been a doozy so far. Great season so far. Um now we're heading into some territory, two final episodes of the season. I know season five has already been announced. There's a trailer out. I have not seen it, but I did see it pop up in my suggestion um, box. I didn't watch it, so I don't know what happened, who survived, or whatever the situation is. But I did see it pop up um, in mention in my suggestions. Um, so I know there's a season five coming. So. Polly has cleared my um, Tommy's calendar for a specific day, which I'm thinking we're going to get to see what happened in this upcoming episode. Um, I just don't I still think there's something behind this. There's, there's something more to it. There's really I, I feel like there's something more to this to this setup. I don't feel like it's just straight up she's trying to kill Tommy. There's got to be something that she's planning in the background um, to save his life or or to get rid of, you know, um, Luca <laughs> and his gang, the Italians. So um, things are winding up. Things are winding up um, and it's getting real tense. Because I'm really surprised that Michael did not tell Tommy what was going on. Like, that's really what surprised me about the last episode more than anything. Him not telling Tommy that Polly is planning this. Um, so that really surprised me. Um, so, of course, man, the things that are going on right now, the fight that's about to take place um, with, you know, um, goals, Abraham goals. His son, um, what's his son's name again? I don't remember. His son against this giant um, that belongs to Solomon's, that Solomon's um, trains or promotes, whatever. Um, so definitely looking forward to that. Let's go watch this episode, man, and see what they got in store for us. And then also make sure you come back and check out the review. Um, as always, man, leave a like, of course, on this video don't forget to like the video and of course prepare to leave a comment when you um when you come back to watch the review thank you guys for watching as always and i will see you guys right back here for the review okay so we got the final setup for the final episode of the season um, this episode is really chill. A lot of weird pairings. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got uh, Polly and Amber Rame and um, and Tommy and the girl that's been fighting him the whole season. Weird. But as I said, she's she's a pretty woman. And, you know, Tommy gets all the bitches. So <laughs> he's the only womanizer in the show. Let's just be honest. Like, he's the only one that has been with multiple women in the show. Like, it's like all the pretty ladies are just put on the show just for him. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that, you know, Linda ain't pretty because she's a gorgeous woman, too. Um... But it's like every season when they introduce a new lady, they always end up with Tommy. So it's like they're just there for him, <laughs> you know. But anyways, um, the plan, you know, with Luca going to um, Luca going to Solomon's and making that deal, they, they're desperate. The Italians are desperate at this point. They're trying to get to Tommy and they can't get to him because he's so insulated. And that's the great thing about Tommy's Tommy's character is that he's very insulated, and and them being in Small Heath make it even worse because that's their playing ground. They know Small Heath better than anything else. Yes, their playing ground overall is Birmingham, but Small Heath is where they're from. That's where they got their start as the Peaky Blinders, so they know the ins and out. They're more insulated down there because everybody knows them. Everybody protects them because they take care of the community and stuff like that. Um, so 
when it comes on to them trying to get him, I'm glad because I was saying in, in you know from from I think it was the last episode's review. I was like, nah, I don't feel like Tommy is really betraying Tommy like that. It just doesn't feel right. It just doesn't feel. I just felt like there's some uh, okie doke coming that something happened that we didn't see or something like that we're going to get an explanation which is exactly what happened as i said guys i have experience in story writing and you know even just from watching a bunch of tv shows you can tell because a lot of writers have similar writing styles as in and you can kind of predict certain things some things that are going to catch you off guard unexpectedly but there are some things that are really like it's just not to me it was not within it, they tried to set it up to make it seem like you know Polly had this great grudge you know because of what happened to her in prison last um last season to the beginning of this season um so it, it, it you you're going into it thinking you know she could actually how they filmed it you know just showing her planning this you know, telling Michael and all of that stuff, you know, but it's because she and Tommy was planning this all along for him, for, for, for him. So once I saw him pick up the gun, I was like, but then, but then I was also thinking, did she actually lie or did Tommy find out about the plan, but didn't tell anybody about it and was like, oh, I'm just going to take these dudes out by myself. He got three of them, as he said. Which is good. Um, the cop showed up. I don't know what what was gonna be that Mexican standoff. Um, you know, I don't know what was gonna happen there. But as I said, it was it would have gone against character. Like a certain stuff, certain things just wasn't adding up. You know, and that's what kind of threw me off of of you know what I'm saying. Where I was saying that there's no way. I just don't see probably betraying Tommy like that you know what I'm saying at the end of the day one of the things that that I know about the Peaky Blinders is that family 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 it's always the the in-laws are always the one that is kind of pushing things you know pushing the whoever they're married to to be out you know what I'm saying like um say um Linda um what's her name again i can't even remember her name um john's wife right so it's always them that's kind of trying to take their man out of you know the the peaky blinders or trying to push them away from the the violence and stuff like that but i'm not for that they're family and they always stick together so it, when it, when when it comes on to to polly that's that's what i'm saying like they they been protecting each other this whole damn this whole time and, and no matter what how are you going to look at what happened at the beginning of the season he still came through and saved their lives so you know what i'm saying so i couldn't see polly going through with that and i'm glad that that's not what happened i'm glad that it was a plan of course arthur is pissed that he wasn't in the loop um um i mean if i was a brother i would be pissed too because i was like you know but he's on is he's drinking he's he's snorting coke again like i wouldn't trust him with anything at this point just to be honest i mean he's coming home drunk i mean now i'm feeling sorry for linda because you know what i'm saying like arthur is just one of those characters that is is, is like he's out of control at every turn that he takes um then you have michael now michael is with the gypsies for safekeeping because they you know who's to know that they wouldn't have went back after him at the at the hospital the, the hospital again so there's some things wrong well, let's see what happens at, at the fight let's see what happens at the fight i'm guessing this is where the big showdown is going to happen to end the season um at this um this fight so um, it looks like Tommy is about to meet up with Solomon's at the end of the episode there. So I'm guessing, um, to me, you know, I know um, Solomon's is a businessman. And you never know what he's thinking until like the last minute. 
And that's what I love about his character. Like, you can't predict what he's going to do because, you know what I'm saying? I really do believe when he said that him and Tommy's good friends, that is the truth. They're good friends. They're not just business friends. They're good friends. From that moment that they had, um, they had a moment. I don't remember what season. I, I don't remember. If, I think it was last season that they had this moment, this man-to-man -man moment where he's like, stop. If you really think that any of us are innocent in this situation and you think you're better than me, think again. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I, I, that was the most, I think that was the most brilliant scene that he has so far in the series because he really dove into his acting bag in that scene. And you could really see that that was pure passion for what he does um, Tom Hardy for, 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 you know what I'm saying? Pure passion for what he does, man. Top notch acting in that scene, man. It was great. So from that moment, I think him and Tommy had an understanding of who they really are. So I don't, I never saw him. Even, I never took him serious during that scene of him actually, actually going to betray Tommy like that. And as I said, his character is kind of set up where you you can't really predict what he's going to do or how he's going to plan things out. But I also don't see him betraying Tommy. So I'm hopeful, hopefully, that that's not what's going to happen because that would be a surprise to me. So I think I covered everything. This, um, this show, season five is coming up. Season 4, one episode left for me to react to. I don't know when Season 5 is going to start, but I'll definitely be on it when it does. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, man, you are Terror Squad. I am Mr. Terror by Reacts. Remember to like and comment. Subscribe if you're new. See you guys later. Peace.